five cigarettes after sex apocalypse. Um, this is a dandy tune. Thanks for the suggestion. Uh, opened up a whole new world for me. Uh, today we are. I'm just gonna put a little uh, note here at the front of the video. We are going to cheat when we play this song. Uh, this is not how the guy plays it. Uh, I'm sure you noticed from the intro. Uh, we're gonna use a capo. He does not. But that's gonna save us from holding a bar chord. Uh, for nearly five minutes while we play this song. So if you're okay with cheating, then uh, get your uh, get your strings and your uh, capos and let's go cheat up a song, man. All right, so for the setup on this song, uh, standard tuning from top to bottom, E, A, D, G, B, E. We're gonna put a capo on the fifth fret. That's gonna be our little, uh, our little cheat right there. Uh, it's gonna keep us from holding bar chords the entire song, so. Hopefully you're cool with that, but uh, that's the only setup we have and that's all we need. So let's do the strumming pattern and then we'll uh, knock the rest of it out. The plucking pattern is about as easy as it gets. We're just going to use our ring finger to play the E, middle finger to play the B, index to play the G, and the thumb to play that D note. And it just gets repeated over and over and over. That's it, the entire song. All right, all right. So here we are on this end with our uh, left hand. Uh, so we got the first position. This is going to be your verse. Uh, first position here is going to be index finger on the B string, first fret, and middle finger on the D string, second fret. All right, remember our little finger pattern? That's going to get played two times. ring finger on to that G string second fret. So right there. That gets played twice. And now we're going to remove everything except for our middle finger on that D. We're just going to keep it there and take everything else off. And this gets played twice. And then finally we just play it open. Okay, so that's the verse, and that is also uh, where, it, like, once the uh, beat drops off uh, and it sort of starts back up again, uh, he plays that all the way out. That's the only thing he plays is those uh, four patterns. So, sweet. All right, now, uh, let's go into the bridge. Uh, once you get done playing that four, uh, little four patterns there, what you're going to do uh, so this is the beauty of this. This is why we have the capo. This is why we're cheating because we don't want to hold bar chords. Uh, he does come down here and bar the sixth, but we're only using these four strings. So if you want to, you can just hold kind of this little mini bar <laughs> with your index finger. Mini bar. All right, cool. All right, with your index finger, you can hold down the uh, the B and the E string uh, together at the first fret, and then your middle finger is going to hold that G and then your ring finger the D. And this will get played two times. And now we're gonna hold our index finger on the B string, middle finger on the D. And this gets alternated back and forth a few times. And this gets played twice. And then you can just rotate that index finger down to clip that E string back into that other position. That gets played again. And then back up here one more time, same position as before. Index on the B first fret, middle finger on the D, right? And this is the exact same thing. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, that gets played once again. And then one more time, we're gonna play this little funky chord. Right, now, in the first and the second chorus are a bit different in how he pieces these chords together. So on the first chorus, after you get done playing that, uh, that chord right there, what you're going to do is you're going to take everything back off and you're going to put just your middle finger up on the D. Alright, next we're going to add our index finger, and I know it's a lot, uh, 
but just hang in there and you can play along with me for right now and then you can take it back to the song and, and I promise you'll be able to figure out it's pretty easy. All right, so after that, we're gonna add our index finger. And now we're gonna play it open. All right, and after he does that, he's gonna go into a bridge. Now this is where we're gonna make our compromise. Right here, um, what he actually does, I'm gonna take the capo off for just a moment. He takes this third fret and bars it and then just plays one open, you know, strum as he's barring that third. So since we're cheating, we're using a capo, uh, you, you, whenever you cheat, you gotta make a little bit of a compromise, right? Uh, in this case, I don't think it's that big of a deal, otherwise I wouldn't be teaching it this way. Um, work easier, uh, smarter, not harder, is that right? All right, so what I do instead is I just hold Basically, it's just a, it looks like an F chord. Uh, index fingers on the B, uh, middle finger on the G second fret, ring finger on the D third fret. I just let that ring out, and then what he actually does play the second time, he's barring the fifth, of course, and you just hold that D string down at the second fret, and then you play that down one time. Every time he does that second chord, he does this little three note run up. I'll turn this way so hopefully you can see. I know my right hand's a little fuzzy, but uh, you're just gonna take and just do this little run up. Just like that, all right? And that's all he does, that's get, that gets repeated twice. <laughs> you still with me? All right, so that gets repeated twice. Now, when, um, when he gets done uh, doing that three note run up, we're going to go back into this um, chorus, but it's going to be uh, a little different. Like I said, he plays both choruses a little different each time. Um, and this is sort of a continuation of the bridge. Uh, he's going to play that, uh, that chord that we had where we're pressing the B and the E string down. All right, middle finger on the G and ring finger on the D. This gets played twice. All right, now we're gonna switch back up to this position, which is index finger on the B string, uh, first fret. All right, our middle finger is gonna be holding that D second fret. Ring finger is going to be holding the G second fret. All right, this gets played twice. Okay, and now um, what we're gonna do is we're going to, um, we're just gonna be using our, we're basically we're gonna take our ring finger off. And this is gonna get played twice. Hang in there. Our ring finger is going to get put back on, <laughs> and once you once you take this over to your uh, to your boom box or whatever and play along with it, you'll you'll hear it. Now, this is going to get played six times. I think that was six. Yeah, but it gets played six times, and then now you're going to play everything open four times. <laughs> Hang in there, I promise you can do it. And then at that point in the song, the verse comes back in. Alright, so... <laughs> Hopefully that convoluted mess is something that you can follow along with. Um, hang in there, you can do it, I promise. Cigarettes after sex, apocalypse. Um, hopefully you can follow along with that. I know it was a little uh, messy, but uh, I think if you uh, take what you uh, were 
if you were able to glean anything off of that and uh, put it together when you go listen to the song I think you'll be fine um, it, it'll make more sense then uh, certainly than, than the way I explained it probably uh, once again thanks a lot uh, Dylan Concrete Pigs uh, consider subscribing or, or not uh, whichever I'm just glad you're here <laughs> thank you guys and uh, see you next time always be who you want to be